Hi guys, it's Joni. Um, I was just coming to you tonight to show you what I've been doing while I'm waiting for my son um, at his appointment. So I brought some stickers with me and some books and you know the stuff I bought this afternoon and I started organizing and I only brought like a third of my stickers with me but I'll show you what I got so far. This over packed binder is full of all the um, Dollar Tree stickers that I have. You know, they're all dimensional, so it really made for a fat book. I'm going to have to get a um, band, you know, one of those hair bands and tie it around this to keep it a little bit more closed. Um, but look at these stickers. I mean, I don't even remember that I have them. You guys remember any of these? I put two in a sleeve. I mean, some of them are so pretty. And they've just been stuck in a box in my room, and I can't even see them. So I'm really hoping um, that this will make it a little better. This one's beautiful. These tulips for the springtime. Um, here are these animals. A lot of florals now that I am looking back. A lot of florals from the Dollar Tree. This whole binder, well this one is not Dollar Tree. I think I got this at AC Moore. But look at the, how cute those are. The little insects, the little buggers. I love the hydrangeas in that one. That's my favorite flower. This beach one, that's a new one. I can't wait to use that. Um, but I use all those dimensional ones, which is most of this binder. Oh, I have a page left. Um, I can really only use them in my Happy Planner because it expands, you know. So, um... So, you know, these are really just limited to the Happy Planner. Um, I did fill up half of, I did bring that other box. And let me tell you, this holds a lot of stickers. And I'm really trying just to keep this box for flat stickers, like no dimensionals in this, because, you know, it can only expand this much you know, or that won't close. So I have, uh, you know, I'm trying to separate them into categories. Um, I have a lot of flat floral stickers here, you know, that are gorgeous, but I don't use them because I don't know they're there. That one, that's a little dimensional, but not much. But look at these flowers. You know, they've been hiding in my bin for all this time. These ones are dimensional. See, they have the foam on the back. Um, this is, I think I brought these at Christmas time because I liked, I turned them the wrong way. Um, these little ones. But I have so many more stickers than I realized. Plus, I don't know how this one got in that pocket. Those are great stickers, though. These, oh, these ones, no, I'll leave them in there. I'm trying to separate them, like, and I'm trying to decide how to separate them. So this pocket is florals. I have another pocket that's butterflies, because um, I have a lot of them. Um, I have another pocket for baby stickers, another one for Etsy stickers. Here are um, like fish. Um, I have another pocket for beach. Um, I have a seasonal pocket that I just put in. Um, let's see. Owl's got its own pocket completely. 
Um, I put in these. It's Father's Day. See, I have so many I forgot that I got this. And this one's uh, for any patriotic holiday like the 4th of July, Memorial Day, Veterans Day. But, um, yeah, I mean, Christmas is on its own. Christmas doesn't go in here. But, you know, I picked out another one. I made another pocket for, you know, anything that has words on it. Um, this is a recollections one. It's kind of a mix between floral and words, but floral has a lot, so that one in the words one. And I have wedding ones, and I have, um, washi ones, and these can hold like the bigger, the longer packs. Here's a beautiful wedding one I had for card making. Oh, this belongs in with the words or no, actually that goes in with the baby. Um, and here's some of those washi packs. I love using these. But, um, so that's as far as I've gotten so far. And like I said, um, I don't know. My I got another one that I'm putting like Disney things in, you know. So I'm putting some booklets in those. But yeah, I've got a lot more stickers at home. But I definitely, definitely think that this is gonna help a great deal. Um, I just gotta stick some labels on it, and uh, then I'll be good. All right, that's the baby, and so I'm gonna make another one for this that'll say like sweets. But um, this was worth, as far as I can see now, was worth all $15 if it will hold the rest of my collection. I won't be putting the um, the Mambi ones in there because those are in their books. You know, I know how to um, get to them. So, um, yeah, so that's how I'm coming along with my sticker storage. So, right now I have them all in a Dollar Tree bin, and they're on the top shelf of one of my rolling carts. And my rolling cart is, like, getting really wobbly. Um, I think it's a little too heavy because I have so many stickers, so I got to separate them out a little. I might even put my Etsy ones in a binder of their own because those are not huge, you know, like the mini Happy Planner ones. Um, so they might go in a book of their own so I can see them better. So um, that's it. I just wanted to show you, you know, what I got done and um, I'm happy with the progress. Maybe I'll bring some more out with me tonight and do some organizing during my downtime here. So um, I may do a planner video when I get home. I'm not sure. It's a toss up between watch, laying down and watching a movie with my son or doing a plan with me. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope that I gave you some ideas um, because I get most of my ideas from all of you. Um, and I, I definitely got my ideas from somebody I saw this afternoon. I didn't take down her name with that, um, the very same, just a different color, um, accordion file. And um, the storage book, I saw that on um, Cheap Crafty Girls channel. So um, let's keep sharing ideas and figure it all out. All right, thank you guys. Good night.